welcome back to the channel guys glad to have you here like always i know you've been patiently waiting for this video and it is finally here this is a video where i show you guys the finished product the finish the end result for this new aviary that i had been working on now i got this done a while back probably around the middle of october or beginning of october i can't remember exactly now is when i finally finished it was able to move all the birds in here but it's been a while since I've made a video about it because I've been so backed up and so busy with not just work and the new baby, but also taking care of all of these birds that you see here. Inside of this aviary, there's around 200 cages. And let me tell you, it takes a lot to take care of these birds on a daily basis, changing water, feeding. It's a lot of work. Not only that, but now I also have the new baby that we have to focus on. So it's been very difficult. I've been dragging my feet and it's hard to actually get videos to you guys because of how busy I've been. So hopefully the wait has been worth it. As you can see, this is the end result for the aviary. Um, I got to do some cleaning today. As you can see, the trays at the bottom of the cages are filled with seeds. Now that's something that I do want to eventually change inside of this aviary. I don't want any of these cages to have trays. I want to do a paper roll system that goes underneath all of these cages and that is exactly why i left some space in between the top cages and the bottom cages as you can see here so eventually all of these trays that you see down here will be gone and then right below these trays is going to sit a piece of paper that is going to go from this end all the way to the far end and eventually what happens is when the paper is dirty i come to this section right here as you can see there's that space i'll pull the paper out all the way this way and the new paper follows so it continuously has new feet of paper you're able to clean it so much faster so instead of having to focus on one tray at a time all you do is you pull the paper throw it in the trash can and the following the new paper is already underneath as you pull the old one out hopefully that tricky explanation kind of helps you guys figure it out as to how it's going to be now as far as the floor of the aviary it's kind of a pain to keep clean because of the color that it has as you can see it's white and you can see feathers and seeds from a mile away so it's something that i constantly on a daily basis have to sweep up once i get the majority of the seeds out then i'm able to go ahead and turn on the roomba robot and just kind of let it go around picking up all those odd feathers and small seed husks that adam may have missed while sweeping all right guys well this is the end of a long day and pretty much what i've been doing all day today is cleaning the bottom trays of all of these cages that i have inside of the aviary so as you can imagine, I can't wait to get those paper rolls underneath of these cages so it can make things so much more easier. Now, for the next video that I have planned for you guys, I'm going to be talking about some of the different types of supplements and vitamins that I like to offer the birds during the breeding season in order to get them prepared for the breeding season and throughout the whole course of the breeding cycle. So make sure that you guys are subscribed to the channel so you can see what these supplements are and what these vitamins are. Now there's a lot of different things that I still need to do for this aviary in order to get it set up properly. As you guys know, I used to have these birds inside of the garage and the move over to this new aviary was pretty much quite fast. So the birds did get a bit stressed with the move and I've seen the difference from the garage to this bird room. There's been a lot of obstacles that I've had to overcome because the change of locations was so different inside of the garage i never really had to worry about humidity for some reason inside of this new bird room i do have to worry about humidity and humidity has been climbing up drastically in here and for that reason i had to get a dehumidifier which is something that i'll go ahead and talk to you guys probably in the next video showing you guys exactly how bad it was that it got inside of this bird room there's quite a few other things that i need to do in here i have to add a sink and some plumbing so that i'm able to wash all of these things the, uh, the food cups the water cups for the birds and just make life a little bit easier for me rather than having to bring all these things outside and washing it by hand out there so as you guys can see we are far from finished but at least we got the birds out here in time before the baby arrived like you guys knew the whole main point of having this new aviary was to get the birds out of the garage so that i wouldn't track in seeds or that bird dust that they they have and that wouldn't go inside of the house where obviously the baby's at now and just to avoid that noise also in the garage so i'm happy i was able to get everyone out here settled in 
And although we've had a slow start to the breeding season, I have noticed that the birds are starting to pick up more and more as they get used to the new aviary and as I start to control these elements inside of here and I'm able to keep now the humidity a little bit lower, it's a learning experience, it's a learning curve. Anytime that you move from one location to the other, you're going to face a lot of obstacles, there's a lot of new things that you have to learn, but it all comes with the job. So. Luckily, I got everybody out here in time, and uh, hopefully we have a good season. Like always, guys, I really hope that you guys have enjoyed the video, seeing some of the birds, seeing the new setup, and some of the changes that I plan on doing on here. I'll keep you guys posted on that as well. Like always, I hope that you all have a wonderful day, and we will see each other in the next video.